So this is my favorite computer, the Amiga 2000. It's a fine looking example, except for some minor issues with it. It's working and uh, we are going to try to make it even better by um, replacing all the capacitors in the power supply and uh, clean out the floppy drive. There's also a leakage from the battery that holds the data in the real-time clock on the motherboard. We need to fix this before it gets uh, any worse. That's the most common problems with these machines is the battery on the motherboard. The corrosion caused by the acid in the battery spreads like a, I don't know, cancer in the motherboard and uh, wipes out one function after the other until the computer doesn't start. So if you have a, an Amiga 2000 with a white screen, it's probably just a battery leakage and it can be fixed. I'm going to tell you how later on in this video. The caps looks to be in good condition as well. This is a very exciting computer, it's my favorite computer, because uh, you could expand it and uh, have a lot of fun with it, so... And this is the problem, the battery on the motherboard here. It's a ticking time bomb on all these old computers. And you should definitely remove it. And you can see the green goo here on the pin of the CPU. That's from the battery leakage. It keeps on, you know, traveling around the motherboard until it breaks everything eventually. And here you can see it, the leakage. So you need to clean that off with something that neutralizes the acid. Otherwise, even if you remove the battery, the problem will still continue to um, bother this motherboard and uh, eventually wander around and destroy function of the function. Ah, oh, there's some nice chips for you. It's the Buster.
it's time to remove the battery from the motherboard it's a very simple procedure you just melt the uh, solder and um, pull the battery out And as you can see, there's a lot of damage here. The green goo has traveled up along the CPU there. And uh, that's what causes the white screen because um, some pins doesn't make connection. The pins closest to the, um, to the battery. And uh, I clean it up a bit. As you can see, it's very nice. It looks brand new. This is just with water. And uh, I took some um, uh, neutralizer for the acid there are a lot of things you can use just to google it and you find what's best for you and I cleaned off everything so I think this motherboard is safe now and she looks great And the case, uh, I think it's okay. I, I scrubbed it off a bit and uh, got rid of some gum and uh, all different kind of things that get stuck on it through the years. And um, I mean, this computer is from the 80s and it still looks fine. And this is the floppy drive. We're going to try to um, clean it off a bit, clean the read and write heads, and um, see that everything is uh, spinning as it should. This is the power supply. I was thinking I would remove every capacitor and replace them with new ones and make this my main Amiga for the next years to come. And um, you can do it this way or you can replace the whole thing with an ATX. It's pretty simple. You just have to wire your own connector and just use a standard PC power supply. That's probably the best thing you can do.